There's some cuneiform writing here, but I can't read it. Some of the tablets are missing. There, it fits. But I still can't read anything. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Now it starts to make sense. Let's see here. Make welcome seeker. Know that it was Nebuchadnezzar in heed of the writing uh, that Marduk made appear unto him who builded the great engine. Having no understanding, the rabble hath thrown down his work, but four trusted disciples are, are scattered upon the face of the earth, and the relics go with them. Wouldst thou tread the path of knowledge, look eastward. Ergon it is who flees to the heavenly mountains, where Shambhala holds a mighty seat. Heavenly mountains. I wonder if that means the Tian Shan Range. Aha! An idol! Now what? Ah, Jones, there you are. Got a statue for me? Will this do? <whistles> it just might. Anything else? According to the inscription, the tower once housed a great engine. When the Babylonians smashed the thing, four priests escaped with the parts. Taking them where? Not sure, except in one case. Some fellow named Ergon headed for the Heavenly Mountains. There's a crude map of Central Asia. That's not much help. Might be enough. The Tian Shan Range straddles the border between China and Kazakhstan. The name translates as Heavenly Mountains. Kazakhstan? Last time I looked, that was Soviet territory. Maybe I won't show the border guards my passport. Okay, buddy, it's your funeral. <laughs>